Walk, immersive, rolling award winning cemetery drama talk Joan Baskin. Actor Joan Baskin says he has lived inside the cemetery for over a week and actually did out of the same course for Daniel Palacios sign as Mayhem Best Picture winner. Hey Lillian. This film seems to be truly challenging for the 32 year old actors. We shot it for 10 straight days. In between, we would go home for a while to get some personal stuff, then return shortly thereafter. We really lived with the people staying there. We stayed there even when the cemetery had already closed for the night, Jones told the Inquirer. Jones said his immersion allowed him to live with them, eat with them, and know how it feels to live without a toilet. Later in the interview, he revealed that he actually participated in the digging of the decaying corn. I learned that the stench is similar to that of the decaying too, he recalled. To the people living there, it's just normal. We ate in a corinder you ride after the digging. People kept saying, a more paid AKO, but we didn't mind. Jones' character, Bandit, is based on an actual person living in a cemetery. My character has a child who is gravely ill. He needs to earn money so he can pay for the kid's hospitalization. Bangus isn't really a bad person, but he needs to be coming to provide for his family, Joan explained. The film will be screened in selected cinemas in Metro Manila until April 17. We worked on this film a long time ago, but I can still clearly remember the effect it had on me, the actor said. Shortly after shooting, I had to go to a little test for a new directory. I guess it was culture shock that I felt. I was suddenly afraid to be in front of the camera. I didn't know how to react while facing it. Even though I faced, I felt as if I was still smelly. The stench got stuck in my mind. He added, I also became antisocial. I had wanted to go back to my old life. I got used to people not minding me. I was already comfortable sleeping on top of tombs or using coffins as chairs. I got used to the smell of the cane flesh. I didn't care about my look. What made filming Palin even more challenging was the fact that its director didn't provide his actors with the complete script. Direct Dante, brilliant Ma Mendoza, is our mentor. Like him, Direct Daniel simply placed us, his actors, on the set and left us to create the scene. When you see the movie, you will ask. Did it happen for real? Don't recall. We went inside an actual hospital, and the people believed that the child I was carrying was really sick. They really helped us from the security guards to the doctors and nurses. Joan added, thinking about it now, that was actually dangerous. They could have gotten angry with us for taking them away from their work. All in all, it was a fun experience. Everything was role play, but it felt real. Cyrus was there to assist us the whole time. The actor said the whole experience has made him realize that we have brothers who are, if and can, if and to get. Most of us are too. Shelter that we're unaware that outside our comfort zone exists people in desperate need of help those who will do anything just to survive. I'm happy that they are given a voice through this movie. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.